Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Saturn here. And yesterday we worked on introductions. Um, so today, yep, you guessed it, we are working on conclusions in our writing. And remember, we are still in this revision stage of our writing. Um, you should have finished writing your introduction, your body, and your conclusion. If you have not finished your story, you need to go do that first. Pause this video, go write your, um, either you, if you pick the narrative, information book, or an opinion piece. You have to write it all first, then you're going to go back and revise. And today we are revising our conclusion, so we're making it stronger, we're making it better. Okay, so that is our goal for today. I can revise, I can write a clever conclusion that wraps up my writing, right? Because the rule of our conclusion is to kind of wrap up, summarize everything we've written, and then give a nice clever conclusion. And the way, so we are doing, focusing on red today, our conclusion, every single piece, no matter what you are writing, it's gonna have a conclusion, so everyone, this should relate to you. Um, and I have my nice chart here, I'm going to show you with our conclusions on them. And we're going to have a few different options here. And then I'm going to show you how I use them in my writing. Let me zoom in here. Um, okay. So here are some options you can do in your writing today to create a clever conclusion. Okay. Now, like we said, when we write our conclusion, the first thing we want to do is wrap up our writing, right? You kind of want to say, what you've written about very briefly, um, but you want to make this conclusion a nice strong conclusion. So it should be about five sentences, no less. Okay, so make it five or more um, because it's how it's what the reader is going to remember last. So you want it to be nice and imp feel important. Now here are some of the options you might want to end it with. Okay, first you might want to use a feeling. Okay, here's an example. I felt like one of the luckiest people on earth. So there's an idea to go on. Maybe you're writing a narrative and you feel a certain way about this in the story and you want to recap with that. Maybe you use a question, okay? Do you think that a civilization will ever be that powerful again, right? You kind of want to interest the reader, ask them what they think. Maybe you want to use a lesson. Maybe you're writing a narrative and you learned a lesson from that story, right? From now on, I'm going to always do my best to save my money. Uh, maybe you want to give advice. Maybe you taught someone something and now you say, now you go try it, right? Um, and the last one, pretty common for opinion pieces, especially you want to restate your opinion. If you're writing a narrative, you want to restate kind of what you were writing about or a how-to book, you want to restate kind of what you taught us. So to conclude, Captain America is the greatest superhero ever. And you want to kind of say it in, different, in a different way. So I'm going to show you some of my samples today. Um, I used our uh, teacher stories that we went over in our public, our launch party. So I wrote a nice conclusion for Ms. DeMarco's how-to book or information about kayaking. My, um, or Ms. Moran's piece about how Captain America is better. And then my story about my horseback riding trip. And I'm going to show you how I wrapped up my story, how I picked a clever conclusion from this list, and then how I made it five or more sentences, okay, because that is your goal for today. So let's take a look at some of my conclusions. Okay, so I'm going to start with my opinion piece. Now, this does not mean you need to pick my clever conclusion. You can pick a different one, but this is how I ended the opinion piece. So if you wrote an opinion piece, maybe you want to try it this way, maybe you want to pick a different one, that's okay, up to you. But I ended it like this, my conclusion starts here. It says, are you convinced that Captain is the best Avenger? Not only is he a leader, but he has awesome superpowers. He's brave too. How can you not think that he is a pretty cool goth? He is definitely the best Avenger. So the clever conclusion that I picked here is I restated my opinion, right? I said, he's definitely the best Avenger. I'm saying it again, okay? But before that, notice how I kind of wrapped up. I said, I asked a question in the beginning to make it interesting. I also restated some of my reasons why Captain is cool so that this is five or more sentences, all right? Let's take a look. Um, so this was on the chart. Um, I picked option number five here. I restated my opinion, okay? Now I'm gonna show you my narrative piece and I'm gonna show you a different clever conclusion that I picked.
and maybe you can try to guess which clever conclusion I picked here. I wrote, my horseback riding adventure was a memory that I will treasure forever. I had so much fun with my friends in such a beautiful place. Even though it rained, it was still one of the best days of my life. That day, I learned that it's always a good idea to try new things. You might discover something you love and have a great adventure. So, what do you think? Which clever conclusion did I use here? If you said that I used a lesson, you were right, right? I said, you might want to try new things because that's what I learned in my story, right? So, I, in this um, conclusion, I wrapped up. Right, and then I used a lesson. I put a lesson that I learned from the story. But notice how I kind of made it nice and long. I kind of said it was a wonderful memory. I had so much fun. I had some feelings in there too. Even though it rained, I learned this lesson, okay? So definitely more than three or four sentences. Okay, and let's take a look at the last piece, our how-to, our information book, and which, and maybe you can guess which clever conclusion I used there. So take a look at the chart again to remind you. So in this narrative, I used the use a lesson, right? Now, take a look. let's take a look at this how-to book and you can guess which one I used there. So but this is an information book and this is how I ended it with a conclusion. Now that you've read all about kayaking, you are ready to try. You learned how to safely enter and exit the kayak. You also know the supplies you will need in order to be an expert kayaker. Don't forget to pump your arms when you're rowing and use all your strength. You can do it. Grab your life vest and get going. Which ending do you think I used here? Take a look back at our chart. If you said give advice, you're right, right? I told the reader to go and try kayaking now, right? I said, go get a life vest now. It's your turn. I gave them advice. I said, you should do this, okay? But notice how before that, I wrapped up. I restated some of the chapters I was writing about in my book, right? I said, you know the supplies. That was one of my chapters. I said, you entered and exited the kayak. I kind of reminded them some things that they should know before they go kayaking, before I gave them some advice about how they should get going, okay? So those are just three conclusions that I wrote in just a few minutes today that are all more than three or four sentences. So folks, today, remember you're revising your conclusion, so you might already have this written, but you need to go back and make sure that you've picked one of these. So let's take a look one more time at this chart. Okay, the first thing you want to do today when you wrap up, okay, when you do write your conclusion, make sure that you've wrapped up your writing, right? You don't just want to finish your story and that's it. No, you wanna wrap up. You wanna pick a clever conclusion from this chart here. And then you wanna make sure it's five or more sentences. Okay guys, that's your goal. Try your best, you can do it. Make it the best conclusion you can, really revise it, make it stronger. If you need to stick in a post-it somewhere, that's fine. Um, to add, make it five sentences, totally fine. Make sure you pick one of these things. We are excited to read it. So take a look one more time at our goal. When you're still in the revision stage. I can write a clever conclusion that wraps up my writing. So remember, wrap up, clever conclusion, five or more sentences. All right, guys, good luck today.